What up, Tube? Welcome back to another daily edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Today is Monday. Monday. Ooh, what's the date today? August 17th, I think. So one week before my granddaughter gets here. My granddaughter will be here next Monday. Uh, my daughter's scheduled for a C-section next week, so next week is the date, the 27th. So I'm headed to the shop right now, guys. I am a, a, a wee bit shorthanded uh, again, as usual. Nothing's changed. Uh, this week is the start of a new week. Start of a, a back to school haircuts at the shop for the APU students, Azusa Pacific University and Citrus College. They start up next week, so we should be extremely busy again. Uh, today, I want to go over. Some of the things uh, some people have been asking me, and I, uh, uh, they've asked me to make this video, so I'm gonna make it today. Today we're gonna talk about credit cards and the importance of accepting credit cards and why you should accept credit cards and uh, what are the benefits of accepting credit cards and uh, what's the hard part of accepting credit cards. There, there is a fallback, you know, there is fees and uh, your accounting gets all messed up and you know it, it, it's not easy it's not it, it's not just a transition thing that you could um change over to you you have to be prepared and you have to be willing to do the footwork and uh there's a lot more paperwork involved and uh but the benefits are that people tend to spend more money when they're using credit cards and debit cards uh it's a straight out fact so um it, it, there's the 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 positives outweigh the negatives there is negatives because uh you know the more paperwork the, the accounting is different um the fees uh uh you just you know the, the the accounting method itself is difficult because you have to figure out you have to figure out where the money's when the money's coming in and how to pay everybody and, and um i've been accepting credit cards already for two years uh, and, and i developed my own little system of uh, accepting the credit cards and uh, uh, it, it's it's I think it's increased my business dramatic dramatically because uh, now people could come in and, and, and um, you know they could pay for services and buy products and, and it's easier to buy products and services when they can use their credit card trust me um, before I had an ATM machine inside my shop so we were cash only people would come in if they didn't have credit cards they would have to pull money out of the ATM machine to pay for their their services when you pay a pull out machine from an ATM you can only pull out 20 at a time or 40 or 60 you know what I mean so and then there's always fees involved with that probably anywhere from three three dollars to 350 per transaction which is a lot of money you know so that added up so uh, I just found it easier to uh, accept credit cards and uh, accept tips through credit cards, and that enables us to uh, to for people to freely tip more, you know. So now you get bigger tips. Before a haircut would be eighteen bucks, and they would pull out twenty from the machine and give you two. You know what I mean? They would never break uh, two twenties to to give you a five dollar tip. So you know your tips increased. Everything's increased ever since we started accepting credit cards. So it's a, the the plus side is that people spend tend to spend more. Now the system that I use, the system that I use is called the Clover. The Clover system, and it's by First Data. First Data pretty much runs all credit card transactions. If you guys don't know that, uh, there's a lot of credit card transaction uh, uh, processing uh, uh, institutions, or even just small businesses that do it. But you know, pretty much they all get processed through First Data uh, that I know of. You know, so I'm sure there's people out there that process on themselves too, but. That I know of, it's pretty much all done by First Data. So, um, so I go through First Data. The way I got signed on, the way I got signed on through First Data was through uh, um, through Sam's Club. Sam's Club is a local store here. It's a warehouse store that I got on through them. And they, they there was a lady there that day, and I talked to her. And ever since then, she's been my agent for. Uh, for for my system so whenever i have problems or i have any issues or any concerns i always call her and uh she's like my agent she's always there to help so you know that's a great benefit also so at the end of this video guys if any guys any interested in contacting this 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 agent i will leave her name below in the comments and uh she can help you guys out getting set up if you guys want to set a system up like this 
all right so i'm gonna get to the shop i'm gonna explain a little bit as we go out throughout the day i'm gonna tell you guys what kind of shit i'm gonna show you the system that i have at the shop show you guys what it costs me i'll tell you guys the best way to get it uh super easy to use uh, but we'll get on with this i'm gonna get to the shop and we'll get into this all right guys so the system that I use is called the Clover. Uh, it's a POS system, it's a point of sale system, which is an all-in-one. So basically what it is, it's kind of a, a, a pad. It's a, like a pad with a register next to it, and then um, it has a printer. Basically that's all it is, it's the pad. So the pad, you click on your, your uh, code to get in there, and there's a menu of all the barbers. Every barber on uh, when he hits his name will bring up uh, another menu of all the services Which is uh, all the hair services uh, under his name So whenever he rings that service up, it's gonna add it up to his name under his name So it keeps total for him uh, If the barber sells a a, a, a product or uh, you know one of the things that we have are the, the retail products that we sell then it's under a different menu so he has to pull up that menu look for that item click on there and it adds it all up plus if they're using credit cards we charge a one dollar credit card convenience fee we charge that in order to get back the fees that we pay for using credit cards so whenever somebody pays with a credit card I always let them know that we charge a one dollar credit card convenience fee and, and you know I've never had one customer complain, complain or object to it, but that's how you get back the service fees that you pay. Because every month, uh, me myself, uh, my free, my fees. When I first started on with with for, with uh, with uh, Sam's Club's first data, uh, uh, I was on a set monthly rate. So no matter how many charges I got, I paid a monthly rate. As I went up, as every month my 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 amount that I'm that I'm charging increased, my my rate increased. So just recently, after being on that set price for a whole year, I changed over to uh, to a uh, percentage. And the reason being because it's to my favor to 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 switch over. That way, um, the, the fees are less. And so right now, I, um. I'm processing, last thing last month, we processed $10,000 in credit card fees and transactions. So, um, you know, my fees were around 360 bucks for the, for the month. So if you take a dollar from each time you use a credit card machine, you, you know, it, it, it uh, I think last month you know, it, it covered the fees. Maybe I might've had to pay a little bit out of pocket, but not too much. So you guys know at my shop we pay 70 30 commission right so i pay daily I, I don't pay weekly i pay daily so at the end of the day i pay my barber his 70 percent and uh including his tips so if they have tips on the box which with credit cards and they get all their money back always 100 percent. i don't take nothing from them uh i pay them out and they get their money and there you go but i do pay out every single day so when i switched over to credit cards that was one of the the things I was gonna have because when you accept credit cards, you don't get your money that same day. You don't get your money for two days. So if somebody makes a purchase, you don't get your money in your bank account for two days. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to continue to pay everybody every day so I wouldn't inconvenience my barbers. So to this day, I still pay everybody every single day. So I pay the guys out every day that way, but you know, the difference in uh, my accounting methods is that, you know, before when you have cash and you pay everybody out, the box just zeroes out to, to whatever you start off with. You know? But when you have credit cards, you know, the, the money's not in the box. So, therefore, that's why I go to the bank every single day. I have to come every day to replace the money that I use to pay out the guys. So, sometimes, the downfall, sometimes, when you do credit cards... You uh, you have way more in credit cards than you do than you have money in the box, you know. So sometimes at the end of the day, uh, there'll be uh, six hundred dollars in credit card charges, and uh, and it's all has it's not in the box because it hasn't been paid to us yet. So there there there's the the discrepancy in the money. So when you take credit cards, you always have to have cash on hand to pay you know your guys unless you pay out weekly. Some guys I I heard of shops that use do credit cards. And uh, they pay out every Friday, you know, and whatever they get in the credit card and credit cards, they get paid for that money on Friday. Uh, so you know, it, it's just a different way of, of, uh, of doing the accounting. I do the accounting that way because uh, that's just I, I've been I've been accustomed to doing it that way, you know. And, and 
traditionally barbers get paid every day you know they don't get paid weekly we don't get paid monthly bi-weekly you get paid every day after you get done that's why when, when you're a barber you know you if you're a hard-working barber you'll never be broke you'll always have money in your pocket you always have some kind of cash you know what i mean you're never going to be broke I said, I remember that was one of the things my dad used to tell me when he when he was trying to talk me into being a barber was like, man, go to be a barber. You always have money in your pocket. You'll never be a broke man. Um, in this day, you know, it's true. You always got some kind of cash in your pocket, you know, because as long as you work, you're going to make money that day. That's the great thing about this job, you know, whatever you do, whatever you earn that day, you're taking it home with you. You know, you don't you don't have to wait for it. And it's usually in cash, you know, so it, 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 I, it it's a great job. <laughs> but anyways. I'm getting off board on the credit card thing so that's another reason why I gotta uh, have cash on hand to to uh, zero out the box every day make sure you know, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you guys on my box is $250 every day in there I, that's how I start my day off at $250 so at the end of the day there's got to be $250 in there you know so if, if there's a lot of credit card transactions and what I do is I have to replace that money the next day when I come to the bank replace the money that we use to pay everybody out the day before so I hope you guys, I'm not losing you guys on this, but that's just a little uh, uh, explanation of how I, how I run my thing, how I run my box, and, um, and how I do it. So uh, I'm going to head back to the shop right now, uh, stop and get some lunch real quick, and uh, finish off this day. When I finish off this day at the end of the day, that's when I'm going to show you guys the, cra the, the machine. I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, what it looks like, how it runs, how I, I'm going to do an actual transaction for you. So you guys can see how quick it is, because this thing like literally, I mean, it literally runs a credit card in less than five seconds. I put the card in there and bing, and it's done. You know, the it's that quick. It's not like going to the liquor store where or the market where they take 20, 30 seconds to run a transaction. No, this machine is super fast. So it's a great machine to have. So we'll get into that one a little bit, a little bit when I get back to the shop. Okay. One other thing I wanted to talk to you guys too about about the credit card machine, and I'll explain it to you now before I show it to you, is that uh, how you you attain this machine. You know, when I first started taking credit cards, I I, I what I did is I didn't want to get into a lease for the, my machine. So what I did is I purchased the machine, and um, it, it cost me about twelve hundred dollars. You know, so it, it was a big purchase. And I thought I was going to save a lot of money by not having to pay a monthly uh, a lease fee. But um, what I found out was two years after having the machine, the machine broke down. And uh, since I purchased the machine and I own the machine, therefore the machine belonged to me, I had to get it fixed. So um, unfortunately, the... the the cost to fix the machine was about another four hundred dollars, you know, and it only lasted two years. So that was the number one mistake I made when I switched over credit cards. Is it, I suggest to you guys, if you guys are going to do it, to uh, lease your machine. Don't buy it because if you buy it and it breaks down, then you're responsible for it. Uh, when you lease the machine, they are responsible for the machine entirely, all the maintenance. So if it breaks down, if your printer stops printing, if anything happens, then they overnight you a replacement part so that you can get back up and running. So, you know, there's always that chance that that happens, you know. In two years, it took me two years to for the other machine to, and it wasn't even the machine that went down. What happened was a printer. The printing base, the one that prints the receipts, that's what went out. And unfortunately, the printer's part of the tablet, so it's all one piece. So you had to order a new tablet in order to get a new printer. You know what I mean? So uh, it was just, it didn't make any sense. But that was the first mistake, mistake I made. I purchased the machine. I should have just leased it. My lease, what I'm paying right now for the lease, I pay, uh, it came out to $1,800 for a three-year lease. Okay? For a three-year lease, they gave me a brand new machine. Uh, and uh, and anything happens in those three years, then I I I uh I gotta pay uh, nothing. They 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 ship everything and they fix it and you know they they make sure that you're up and running. And uh, what that breaks down to, it breaks down to uh, forty nine dollars a a month, pretty much, about fifty five dollars a month. That's what it that comes out to in order to have the machine. So I pay twelve hundred versus eighteen hundred for three years. I it, it it almost averages out. It averages out to about six hundred dollars a year if you think about it. Because the other way I paid twelve hundred and it only lasted me two years. So that was still six hundred. So it, it, you know it's just a, another expense that you have to have when you do uh when you accept credit cards. So it's something to think about about what kind of machine and, and what kind of device you're gonna use to accept a credit card. Some people use their phones but that's not a POS system. That's just for accepting accepting transactions. So uh 
the POS system, it does other things too. It, it, it's pretty much a computer. It, it keeps your inventory. It tells me when I need gels. And uh, it, it, it has a lot of features that I don't even use. Um, Cause I mean, if I was running a restaurant or something, then this thing would be, I, they'd probably use it a lot more. But you know what? We use it every single day and it's always, always reliable. So with that being said, I'm gonna go back to the shop, finish this day and I'll show you guys the machine. Late. All right guys, uh, so I'm right here in front of my register right now. I'm about to show it to you guys. Uh, so this is, remember, the, the, the register that I have is called the Clover. The Clover, I did an extensive research when I when I was getting it. So I, I it was between this one and there was a couple other services that I was thinking about going on, but um, I, I just decided to go with the Clover because I just thought it was the easiest I don't know. It just seemed to me it looked like it was the easiest way to use. And, and of course, you know, I, I when, when you when you first try to sign on, when you sign when you first sign on, they'll give you an actual trial period, so you can work it on a computer to see how it works. So I really like the way this system looked and the way it worked. And so far, I've, I've been very happy with it. So, so to remind you, this is the second system I've had. Okay, this is not the first one. The first one had a it was a little bit different. That's the one I told you that I paid for. It lasted me two years, and then it broke down, and I was either having to replace it or I could just uh, uh, start a new lease. And that's what I did. I started a new lease with them. So now I pay monthly with for for the for the machine, but I'm insured, which is very important. You know, because when it breaks down, it's expensive, guys. Okay, so let me show you what we're working here, okay? So when I ring up a customer, this is what my system looks like, okay? This is a clover right here, all right? So let me see if I get the best shot so I don't get that glare in there. Let me try this like that, okay? So when, a, when the... Whoever's working, they're gonna walk up. So, sorry for the glare. I can't get that off of there because it's gonna be hard. There's no way of getting rid of it. But when you walk up, uh, pretty much everybody has the same code, which is zero zero zero. Okay, that's the old, the last one we just did. So it's zero zero zero. And this is our menu right here. Basically, let me let me go back from here. Okay, so basically this is a tab. It has all kinds of apps like a regular tab does. You know, and this is like your register app up here. Then you have your orders, transactions, and your uh, tips. But which we don't use a tip section because the way I use it. Sorry for being really drunk. I'm gonna use them right here. Sit it down right here and go. See if I get that glare out of the way. Okay, there we go. Okay. So when we go to register, okay. So if you guys can see right here on the register, it has every barber listed. So I have guest barber, I have Albert, Alex, which he doesn't work here anymore. Uh, Fidel, Janelle, Tony, you know I mean? It has all the guys on here, Lewis. Then it has, uh, actually has Randy on there. He has, he doesn't work here any longer, any, any longer either, but I haven't had time to remove them. But basically what happens is like, say I, I'm gonna use my own. So if I go Albert, then it shows what haircuts we do. See, it has uh, haircuts. Al, Al haircut 18 and the reason why it's listed like that has Al, Al, Al in front of each one is that that's how it distinguishes the machine distinguishes which which barber did the haircut so um so say I want to ring up a $20 haircut which is a fade so it brings it up right there you can see it brings it up right there so once I ring that up so if I want to pay if the customer wants to pay cash then we would pay cash right there and boom it's ready to go See that? So uh, if they want to pay cash, they, they would pay cash. I would just ring it up right here. It would charge a 20 and then the, the register would open. But if I want to charge a uh, credit card, so if the way I do it is I go back. So if there's a $20 uh, uh, right there, right? So if the person wants to also tip on the card, then I would click tip. Then I would punch in say $5, zero, zero. Set price and it adds it on. See how it added it on over here? So now that total is 25. Plus, I go back and we have to go credit card convenience fee, $1. So it would click it on there like that. Boom. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I run and how fast this really is. I'm going to run this transaction because I'm sending it to myself and, and I'm the owner and I pay myself anyway. But let me, let me pull out my card and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So we're back here, okay? Um, so we can see right there. It's $26, it totals it up right there, you see that? 
$26. And this is how simple it is for me to run a transaction. So once I run it, all I'm going to do is slip my card in here. See that? Slide the card in there. And then it asks me, pay the $26. So I'm going to pay the $26. Watch how fast. Boom. It's done. I pull my card. And what I got to do now is a customer has to sign right here. So what I do is I flip my machine over, flips over. I show it to them, and that shows them that. So they sign it, blah, 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 and then they hit it there. Turn it back over, and then I stop my transaction right there. I click done, my transaction's done. And then it it back out. Simple as that. Now, you're probably asking, how do I know what the person made or what the person's done all day? So again, we go back here. And this is what's cool about this machine. You go click here, go back to your uh, apps. And then on my apps, what I'm going to do is go right here to reporting. See reporting? And this is this is pretty, pretty much this is a tape for today. I'm showing you guys a tape for today. This is what the shop made today. And it shows on here how much money came in. That's how busy we were. This is what the the credit card transactions today. $194 in credit card transaction. Charles, it breaks it down all into that. See that? Then it breaks it down. Well, it breaks it down by employee, but it doesn't break it down by employee. I just messed up right there. So I'm not even going to show you that. But, okay, so I go down here to items. And this is where it's going to tell me what each person made. See, so it's May, uh, August 20th. So it shows right there. All haircuts, $20 haircuts. I did 15 of them. Tips, I had six tips for $24. So I make $324. Credit card convenience fee. Remember how I told you that I charge a dollar? So that adds that up. It's eight dollars for today. Then Lewis was the other barber that he worked. And you can see how many haircuts he did. Seven. Uh one tip. Oh, but he did a the haircut and beard trim is 25. See, so it breaks it down into individual categories and it tells you how much it is. So at the end of the day, I could tell how much person, each person, I just give them a, I, what I have to do is I have to subtract like for myself right here. So it's 324. So I got to subtract the 24 from the, the, the 24 from the 324. So actually what I'm, I'm, I, the 24 goes to directly to the, to the, to the barber because that's uh, uh, all tips. So actually it's 300 times 0.7. So, you know, you, 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 you do the math, but that's how we figure out who gets paid at the end of the day. And the best thing about this is look at this. So this is my report. Click right there. This is my printer. Boom. Prints it out right there. It does my report right there. So my report is all printed out. So this is what I print out, and this is how I pay my barbers. I, you know, I make my slip at the end of the day, and I show them exactly how I did it. Much does a nice report for you like that. It tells you exactly what each person made at the end of the day. So if we have seven barbers working, then it pretty has a longer report, of course. But um, it, it pretty much shows everything here. You can go to transaction. It tells you what each transaction was throughout the day. You know what I mean? You can pull them all up. But um, it tells you whether it's credit or not. Uh, um, it, it gives you the listing of all the employees. Uh, uh, this thing is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, it has a lot of bells and whistles that I don't even really use. You know, like, I wish I, I, may, I had more time to implement some of the other things. But uh, uh, I, I really don't get a chance to use them. I mean, we're just so damn busy. I don't, you know, they have rewards. You know, you could get, a, you could do a sign up list so that the customer could sign up and create, you could create a, 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 a direct list of the customers. And actually, it does keep a tab of customers too because, uh, um, see, it gives you a listing of all the customers. I'm first right there because I just ran a transaction. But it gives you a list of the customers' names. Doesn't, doesn't list any information for the customer. It just gives the name of the person because because they use a credit, uh, a credit card. So that way it recognizes that when a returning customer is coming back or not returning a customer. It's part of your the, the reports that they send for you on Clover. But it, it's a really nice system. Um, uh, do I recommend it? I, 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 say, I would say yes. Do I recommend you get the system? Um, you know, it's just up to you. Is it, if it's if, if you want to take your business to that next level, I mean, I could say right now that that my business has grown a lot more since I, I started taking credit cards. It, it seems like a more uh, honest, professional business because you do accept credit cards. Um, you know, when we had the, the the ATM machine, it felt kind of weird to tell a customer go spend three fifty to go pull out twenty dollars to pay for your haircut. You know, it, it, I don't know, it just didn't seem right. Um, 
This is the year 2018, guys. You know, it, it, most people don't even carry cash anymore. It's, it's all about plastic now. So if you're not accepting credit cards, and you, believe me, you're just crippling yourself. Uh, I would highly recommend you, you do it. it. It's a big step. It, it took me, I mean, I've only been on it for two years. We've been here nine years next week. So uh, it took me seven years to go credit cards. So, you know, it, it, it might not be something you want to jump into unless you know you're going to be here. I know I ain't going nowhere. My business is not going anywhere. I'm going to be here for a long time. So this is why I did it. it and um, I, I, I think it's a, it, I think it's a great, it's been so far, it's been awesome. Uh, I mean, I don't regret going credit cards at all. Yeah, it's a little bit more work and it's a little bit of a headache, you know. Um, you have to stay on top of the, of all the accounting and uh, you can't be missing a... a there's always cash missing out of the box because of the credit card transactions. So you have to replace that on a daily basis. So you have to have a, a, a cash flow in order to do that. So um, if you're not doing that, then you, you're better off staying cash. But um, it, 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 it's a it, it's a big advancement, but um, I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys the name of the lady. Her name is Cynthia Chang. I'm gonna give you uh, her information. I'm gonna leave it down below. Her phone number. Uh, um, if you guys want to contact her, contact her, and, and she'll help you guys get set up. She's already helped a lot of barbers, so she knows how what she's doing in the barber business as far as uh, uh, transactions and stuff like that. So um, she's very knowledgeable, and she'll give you the best deal possible. Um, make sure you mention Big Al. Uh, uh, I get a little referral from Happy Now for you know, the, but it's not a big deal. I'm not. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it to help you guys out, so you guys can better your business. You know. If you guys aren't accepting credit cards at this day and age, guys, you guys are, you know, I know we're an old school profession and, and you know, for the longest time, I didn't want to take credit cards either, but you know, you, you should be taking credit cards because trust me, your retail business is going to grow. It's going to be awesome. You know, people, people, when they come in here and they get a haircut, they're going to give a haircut. They're going to give you a tip. They're going to, they're going to buy product. They're going to, you know, it's, they're not scared to do it because it's on plastic for some reason. Cash hurts more to give up than plastic. So... You know, I, I could tell you for one that business has grown a lot since I started taking credit cards. It's it's for me it's blown up. So uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, you know, a POS system for a nice busy shop it's a great way to go. Trust me, this transaction goes by goes through in five seconds. I mean, we're not standing up here more than a minute and we're back to the next haircut. You know, that's where you got to be. You got to be fast and efficient. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. But. With that, that's it for the credit card. If you guys have any questions about this system or you guys, uh, would, would, let me know what you guys think. Uh, um, you no, know, yeah, it's a little pricey, but you know what? Once you get going and you see the credit cards transactions coming in, guys, the, 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 the cash starts flowing in and, and it gets a lot better. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you'll, you'll notice, you'll notice that there's deposits being made every day from two days ago to transactions. So remember that if you do this, like today's transactions, they don't go into your account for two days. So you, you have to wait, you have to be able to, to sit tight with that money. And then you gotta figure out a way to pay your barbers too. Cause you know, if you're not gonna pay them daily like the way I do, then you know, you gotta figure out that. I've heard of some shops that they collect the money for the credit card transactions and they don't pay that till the end of the week. So that's another option too, if you if you guys wanna go that route. But that's it for today guys that's uh, another week down the drain uh, i'm gonna head home tomorrow i finally get a day off i actually you know i i, I pulled in 15 days straight so i haven't had a day in 15 days so um i'm gonna take the next two days off uh the only way i'm not gonna come to work is if uh if one of my other barbers don't show up tomorrow so if he doesn't show up then you know more than likely i have to be here but i, I i'm praying to, to dear lord jesus to Bring him to work so I can take a day off. I I, I just need to rest and just not do anything. Uh, the elbow's killing me. Uh, you know this is this is what it's like, guys. This is what it's it's about. You know when you get that business, you know you gotta you gotta stay on top of it. Make sure that if everything's functioning, everything's rolling the right way. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know there's no nobody to delegate this, this, this these issues to. So I gotta do it myself. But. Uh, Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody who's commenting. Everybody's been, you know, a lot of comments. And I, I, I like, if you guys have any questions about what I talked about today, about the clover, I'm more than welcome to, uh, you guys are more than welcome to leave them below. And I, I answer all questions. Um, Cynthia Chang, I'm going to leave her num number down below in, in the comments and in, in the uh, description. So you guys can contact her if you guys want to uh, get one of these systems. Make sure you mention Big Al so that uh, she knows that you guys are calling because of me. All right, guys. With that being said, you guys have a good rest of the week.
I'm, it's tomorrow's my day off, so I'm going to relax, and I'll be back on Thursday. See you guys on Thursday.